One of the things that I think is going to happen as well is that we're going to see how organizations are going to shrink, right? Uh, and we've seen that because, you know, lots of different businesses are laying off people like crazy, right? Uh, so we're going to see how these organizations are going to shrink. But what I keep telling people is that organizations will shrink, but workload won't. So someone has got to do that work eventually, right? And the ones that I'm venturing that are going to end up doing this kind of work, and this is something that, you know, has been mentioned already all over the place, and we're starting to see it more and more often, is this, this giant, massive networks of freelancers who, better, who basically gather around together on the web by connecting, by sharing, by learning amongst each other. And eventually, they're the ones who hoover around those are small organizations, right, who offer and bid uh, so who offer the jobs that need to be done or the work that needs to be done, then these freelancers be the best offer they can go and provide. And then eventually they get picked up, they do the job, and then they move on, right? I think that that's what's going to be the future of the workplace. So we're going to see how a smaller, you know, how organizations are going to grow smaller and smaller and smaller. Probably won't want, we won't even call them organizations anymore. And eventually the work is going to be done by all of those people around that particular small ecosystem. And what's going to happen is because it's going to be all more hybrid and it's going to be all more fluid, people will actually be floating from one organization to another uh, in terms of ignoring completely things like corporate culture, like business processes from a particular business because what may work for one organization may not work for the other. So they're going to go like, why should I waste my time for something that I cannot put over from one part of the area of work into the other, right? So I think, I think you know, from what you're saying, um, I, I really like that idea of how, trans, of how organizations are going to be transformed and how we may not even call them organizations, but I think that what we're going to see is we're going to see these major hubs of, of networks linking with other networks as part of that giant network that are going to be bidding for the work and are actually going to be doing the work. And, and then people tell me, okay, but that means that... Um, things will become a lot more fragile for the employee, right? For the supposed uh, employee in, in terms of, you know, benefits, in terms of, you know, workloads, in terms of whatever else. And, and I keep telling them, well, not necessarily, because what we're seeing is that we're going to be seeing how all of these freelancers, all of these change agents, they eventually will have more power to make their own decisions on what's right for them and what's not right for them. Right? I think that what the, the key message there is, is going to be how capable are you of connecting, learning, and sharing your knowledge with other people. Right? That's what's going to give you the competitive advantage. And that's essentially what's going to give you that uh, uh, net or that safety net that you can use to protect your new working environment, so to speak. But I don't necessarily think that that's a negative thing. And, and if you look into the trends... Um, it's already happening, something like that, in the U.S. I think I read somewhere, sometime the other day how 40% of the active working population in the U.S. are freelancers already, 40%. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Uh, I, I think, yeah, I, I think it was 40%. And, and that's basically a, a trend that is going to continue growing because, like I said, organizations are going to keep laying off people because that's the number one cost reduction suggestion that they always go for is lay off people, right? And and obviously that means that all of these people all of a sudden they're you know they're very highly skilled, they have got lots of experience, they have got some networks that they have been working on already, and all of a sudden they're on the street, right, looking for a new job. So what they're doing is they're all gonna gather around and they're gonna start helping each other find other places. And it becomes much more of an um revolution in terms of how people will work together because we will go from that organizational mentality of fighting and competing with one another because that's the way I get my bonuses, right? Or they will tell you because there can only be one, right, who gets the bonus versus everyone else who's just basically going to go and help each other and care each other because the pie is big enough for everyone to have a piece. It may be a smaller piece, but that's also going to help us reframe our living standards, Right? Is is that also that that trend that seems to be going now about you know living less, living more with less, right? Or or doing more with less in terms of instead instead of constantly going with that mindset of consumerism in terms of buying stuff all over the place, uh, really look into the needs of what you need to buy, right? And if you can borrow it, if you can share it, if you can actually 
co-share the expense of whatever that happens, why not? You know, that's, that's going to be an option as well. So it's going to also reframe how we think about owning stuff, right? So we will go not so much from that owning stuff into actually letting stuff or, or hiring stuff or sharing stuff, which I think is going to be very empowering because it's going to kill the number one gamification element that we have in the corporate world nowadays, which is basically fat bonuses that only a few have got access to and that destroy the morale of everyone else in the organization for that matter. 